This week's tool spotlight is Julius.ai. So if you're looking for a versatile tool that can streamline your data analysis, well, use Julius.ai. It looks a very promising tool that can help you analyze, visualize, and make sense of your data. They say and they even promise that even if you are not an ex stats expert, you can still use it. So let's try it out. So I have a, a record, a student record, and I have this Google spreadsheet where I have few call data columns like name, nationality, city, gender, age, and then the subject grades. Um, now let's try and use this over and uh, try and make, an, make a sense of it. So I'll copy the URL. I'll go to julius.ai. You just need to sign up and uh, the sign up is available uh, for free even. So let's try data set. You just need to write data set. It's going to start importing the data from the Google Sheet. Okay, so while it does that, let's let's try and think what we can do with uh, the data. So let's try some simple stuff like what should be the mean age of the student. This is the good stuff that you you can even switch between the like Python and R. So if let's suppose you want to take the code and use it, you can do that too. Uh, let's try. Let me write this down while it basically runs through the data okay so let's try that what is the what is the mean age of the student okay so we got some data so this seems fine you can even export it that's great uh okay let's try this mm, okay so it's still running in seems to be a bit slow but that's all right okay okay so we have got the results so this looks good so we have this uh, the mean age of the student is approximately 21.96 years here are some additional statistics about the ages minimum age maximum age median age so that's great we got the chart even you can download the chart that's awesome for our presentation and what about implementing the frequency distribution by age? Uh, let's do that. Um, implement the frequency distribution by age. Let's try that out. Okay, so it's doing it. Run. Okay, so we got some results. So frequency distribution uh, is like this. So 19 age, 28, number of times it's been present, and the percentage and the cumulative percentage. That's great. We finally got what we wanted. You can also go ahead and play around with it. It, it looks quite good, actually. Okay, thank you.